I'm Bright Guy Bill. My very first video on YouTube, and uh, I'm going to be spending uh, most of the videos here in the near future on two builds. One being this 2022 Ford Ranger I just picked up, and the other being an off-road camper that I plan on building to go with this Ranger. Uh, if uh, this is something you might be interested in, and maybe taking on a similar project, uh, please like and subscribe and follow along as I go through the modifications and the builds. Uh, when I was researching the trucks, I noticed there weren't a whole lot of uh, videos on the Rangers, obviously the Tacomas and the Gladiators uh, pretty much dominate the overlanding world, so I'm not quite sure why the Rangers overlooked as far as a possible overlanding rig. What I decided to go with here on the Ranger is the base XL version. Um, I didn't really want to go with the Tremor package or uh, Tacoma TRD Pro or the Gladiator or really even the Frontier Pro 4X because I really didn't want to spend all the money on the package those manufacturers were putting together. Great packages. I mean, if you uh, want to buy something turnkey, it's hard to beat a Forerunner or a Tacoma TRD. I mean, right out of the gate, uh, they're a great off-road vehicle. But you tend to pay for that. Uh, I decided that uh, after doing all my research, looking at all the YouTube channels out there, that I wanted to go with the tires I wanted to run and the equipment that I wanted to use to suit my needs. Uh, I'm going to be building an overland style rig and uh, I don't need anything hardcore. Uh, I had a Jeep before this, a, a Jeep TJ that I had lifted and locked and I used to have to carry it on the back of a, a E450 and pull my travel trailer and it was just a chore. Anytime you went somewhere, it was a big rig, and I decided to simplify it, and so I decided, you know what, I'm going to deal with a mid-sized truck, and uh, simplify it, and uh, just not build it to go over all the crazy obstacles. I found that going over those obstacles, it was, it was just nerve-wracking, you know, are you going to break something, are you going to be able to get back to your camp? You know, it's just how much damage, how much is it going to cost for me to fix this? And I really didn't enjoy it. I found that I really just enjoyed being out in the backcountry. Uh, I love Utah, New Mexico, Texas, being out on the BLM, just out, you know, where it was, where it's still frontier. Um, you know, watching all the videos for people like Trail Recon and uh, the Epic Family Road Trip. They just put masterful videos out on YouTube. It's amazing uh, the effort they go through to make these videos. Well, that's another story. Um, so basically on this very first video, it's just an introduction. Uh, the main reason, like I said, I went with the Ranger was I wanted to be able to build it the way I wanted to build it. And really the Ranger was the only option that I could go with a stripped down base model and still get the rear e-locker. On uh, the Ranger and the F-150, you can single line order a rear e-locker on any trim package, any trim level. So what I have here is the 2022 Ford Ranger with the super cab and the six foot bed and the XL trim. It's just me and my dog Buddy, so I really don't need the four doors and really I wanted the bigger bed. Uh, so, uh, that's kind of why I went with this configuration. Um, and then as far as with the XL, it has the vinyl floors, which I love. It's easy to clean up. I just don't need all that Copilot 360. I wanted to keep it simple. And by going with this base level, I saved a lot of money, and I could take that money that I would have spent on getting, like, say, a trimmer package if I stayed with a Ford product. Um, you know, for that 15000 extra I would have had to spend to get a trimmer, I can get the tires I want, the brand, the size, uh, 
I can have much better skid plate and get the rock sliders and, um, and then really just set the truck up with the suspension that I want to suit my needs and not be forced into any particular package. I did pretty good on buying this truck. I ordered it back in February at the end of truck month, Ford truck month. And uh, at the time, Ford was offering $1,000 bonus cash if you ordered a truck. So I went ahead and ordered the truck, started with the base model, which was like 28,000 something, but it didn't have cruise control. Like I say, it's a basic truck. I had to have cruise control. You can add it after the market, but it's a stock not on the steering wheel, I didn't want that. So I moved up into a 101A package, which got me the cruise control, the power mirrors. Um, it also came with a key fob with an alarm and some other goodies that came along with it too. And that cost $1,135. I also added to that the rear e-locker, which was only $420. I mean, a no-brainer on that. Uh, and then I got an engine block heater. That really doesn't have much effect on this. Uh, so we went ahead and ordered it, and I told them, yeah, go ahead. I want to get you to spray in a, a bed liner for me, too, and that was $550. So they went ahead and ordered the truck. Four months later, just a couple weeks ago, my truck came in, and uh, super excited, you know, to get this going, to get this build going. And I went up there uh, to finalize all the paperwork and everything comes to find out that Ford was giving a thousand dollars of free Ford accessories as well. So I was like, cool. So I've got a bunch of accessories and a matter of fact, those accessories, I just picked them up today. So I'll be doing videos on those installs as well. Uh, the accessories I ended up picking up on that thousand dollars was a bug deflector, some mud flaps. Um, I also got the tonneau cover and I got this real cool uh, bed mounted pivoting swing out storage box so and uh, I've got a hockey stick hockey stick strike that comes down it goes down it's gonna be pretty cool I think and then on the range or on the tailgate I picked up some uh, stainless steel black lettering to go into those inlays so all said and done if I add up the MSRP on the truck along with the accessories and freight and destination, all that, uh, the truck came up at $34,250. And guys, I did pretty good. I got this truck for $30,900 uh, with all those accessories and, uh, and also got a pretty sweet deal on the finance too. So that's kind of where we're starting with on the truck. Uh, I've already added some Carhartt seat covers. I went with the basic ones. I wanted to be able to easily remove them and wash them, um, and they turned out real nice. And as you can see, I'm in the process of painting the wheels. Over on Budget Bronco, I watched a video of him uh, painting his uh, uh, steel is white. And I said, you know what? This truck's going to have all this black on it. I'm going to go ahead and do my wheels in black. And I think, as you can see, it looks pretty cool. So I'm going to be doing the front ones here this week. And uh, my next video, I'll kind of go into uh, the wheels finished and also uh, the accessories and kind of give a show of what that is. And then probably also uh, go into more detail of what I plan on doing with the truck. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to some other YouTube channels uh, that I did all my research with, and uh, including the guys at TFL. Those guys are fantastic. Uh, my only gripe on them is that they always, they got to review what Ford brings them, and Ford's not bringing them this truck, you know, to highlight on their show. Uh, but uh, Stage 3 Motorsports, as far as showing different types of suspension setups and tires and everything, that really helped me get some idea of what direction I wanted to go. And uh, then you just got the, the great websites like Ozark Overland Adventures, Trail Recon, and uh, one guy in particular, there's a guy, Travis J. Every Four Wheel Drive, and he's got a YouTube channel that's basically using the same truck. It's white, it's a four door model, but still the base XL model with the E locker. And uh, he's got some nice videos. So I wanted to give a big shout out to, you know, a lot of that gave me the courage to kind of do this. So 
hopefully there's not a whole lot of videos on rangers. Hopefully there's other people maybe considering a ranger. And uh, it'd be awesome if you liked and subscribed to the channel. And, uh, you know, kind of get some idea of uh, what can be done, you know, if you decide to build as opposed to buy. So I'm looking forward to it. Um, I have the money to do the upgrades. Uh, so uh, that won't be holding me up. It's really just time. You know, so, uh, I've got a welder set up. I'm going to be starting to do some welders. And I think one of my first projects is I'm going to uh, make my own sliders. So that'll be interesting to watch. So, uh, like I say, please like and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to be putting out a lot of short videos uh, here to come. And uh, hopefully uh, you'll enjoy them. Thanks.